in this tutorial we will design this curvilinear pipe with a triangular plane we will design this curvilinear pipe using the project curve feature from the curves you can see here project curve feature you'll use this to design this curvilinear shape of a pipe and then we'll design this triangular flange okay so first of all we'll start with this front view and in this we'll first draw this sketch okay this curve we will draw first and then we'll draw this curve on the right side plane so first of all i will start with a front plane sketch here i will draw one line like this draw one vertical line then once we come back to this point you can see it will convert into an arc so draw an arc like this here and then draw another arc like this to here okay then draw one vertical line right click and then select so you can see first we have drawn one line and an arc then again one arc and a an line okay now you can see this uh, arc is tangent to this line same as it is this arc is tangent to this arc now we have to select this arc and select this line and make them tangent and you can see our curve will be look like that now select smart dimension select this arc and give your radius 60 mm this height of the line will be 50 mm same as it is this arc radius will be 60 mm this height 50 mm okay now select this line this line give this distance 50 mm okay so now you can see our sketch is fully defined it's in a black color line so now we'll exit this sketch and then we'll select here right plane sketch on this plane we'll draw one sketch like this one line here and then one arc of r70 mm and this distance we have to give 100 mm so now i'll select one line draw one vertical line like this up to here then let's draw again an arc like this and one horizontal line this line is not horizontal uh, so that select this line and make it horizontal now select this arc and this line tangent you can see this arc is tangent to this line also so now select smart dimension and give this arc radius 70 mm okay now from this point to this point horizontal distance we have to give 100 mm and this height from this point to this point this will be 150 mm okay exit this so now you can see we have created these two sketches one in the front plane and one in the right plane okay so now using these two curves we will create one project curve so for that from the curves we have to select here project curve in the projection type we have to select sketch on sketch now i'll select this front plane sketch first and then this right plane sketch and you can see in the yellow line this is our project curve okay this now we'll select here swept boss select circular profile then select this sketch 
and give your diameter 60 mm okay okay now select this curve and hide it now we'll select this face and then sketch here we have to create one triangular plane so we'll see its dimensions here you can see it is r15 mm here there is one hole of diameter 10 mm which is at a 50 mm distance from the center line so first of all from the polygon i'll select here number of sides 3 and from the center point of the circle i will draw one triangle like this okay here let me fillet this triangle. So for that, I'll select here fillet. Give your radius 15 mm. Select this point, then this point, and this point. Okay, this close. Now select smart dimension from this point to the center point. This distance we have to give 50 mm. Okay, right click and then select. Now on this point, I'll draw one circle. So, like this, my dimension, give here diameter 10 mm, enter. Same as it is, we'll draw here three circles. Instead of drawing this, We'll just copy this circle. So press Ctrl and drag this, and you can see its circle is here. So same as it is, select this circle by pressing Ctrl and drag it, and you can see here one circle is created. Now select this center point and this center point. Make them merge, same as it is with two center points. Merge them. Okay. Now, now select this point and this point. Make them vertical, and you can see our sketch is now fully defined. So now we'll just go to features. And extrude this reverse direction. So here give 15 mm distance. Okay. Okay. So now we have to create here hole. So for that, we will just select here swept cut pillar profile. Then uh, we have to select here. This curve. If you here this time diameter 50 mm. Okay. Yeah. So now you can see it's cut in the inside portion. Pipe is ready. Let's uh, use the let's give it some appearance. So just give it a color. Let me give it this. Okay. So now our pipe with a plane is ready. I hope you like this tutorial. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe us. Thanks for watching.